Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for Before I Fall. So Before I Fall is a movie recently released. It doesn't really have anyone too big to know, but basically it's about a girl that goes through the Groundhog Day Syndrome. That's what I like to call it at this point because it's been repeated so many times. Basically, it's that one day is repeated over and over and over, and you have to try to find a way to get out of being stuck in that one day. It follows this girl through the day that she's reliving over and over and over and how slowly she starts to realize what her purpose is for this day repeating, what she has to do, what she needs to do, and discovering many things about herself. It premiered at Sundance to fine reviews. People are saying it's a good movie, not great. And more reviews started coming out. Some of them were on the negative side, some of them were on the positive side. I really had no anticipation for this movie. I just saw it to review it. And I have to say, Before I Fall really didn't exceed or go below any of my expectations. It's an okay movie. It's mediocre. It has some very bad aspects to it, but also has some very good. I'll start out with the bad. Definitely, the music choices and the dialogue at times were extremely annoying. You'll have these really sad sequences that are met with upbeat pop sounding tunes and though that is the type of music that teenagers listen to which makes me kind of sad uh it's just felt annoying and it felt kind of jarring in the scene you had this huge dramatic scene and you were suddenly taken out of it because they felt the need to put a pop song in there and you know maybe it wasn't even the most upbeat pop song but it just sort of took away from the mood when you could have put a good you know score song there uh, you know composed by the composer of the film who really didn't get to do anything with the score because most of the music was just pop tunes and the dialogue I said was annoying that's mostly in the first part when the teenagers are just making fun of other people and that kind of stuff it felt really annoying and I know that maybe it was intentionally supposed to be annoying but it felt o overly annoying to the degree that I didn't really like it Something this film definitely messes up is bullying. Bullying seems to be something in film that no one has really caught up to yet. Bullying is not the old way that it traditionally was. It's not that people say bad things about a person right in front of them or that they beat them up. It's nothing really like that anymore. It's a lot intellectual these days, someone just ignoring someone, someone calling someone annoying and saying, oh, it's just, it's just a fact or whatever. And they, yet again, Before I Fall is another movie that falls accustomed to this. A Monster Calls did. This one does too. It's just the bowling is so traditional. It's so uninspired. It's so weak. And it's part of the main focus of the movie. When you discover what her purpose for going through these multiple days is, you realize that it's tied to bullying. And it just feels very odd the way that they showed the bullying in such a traditional way to the point that it didn't feel colored or creative or different at all. And speaking of not doing anything new, this whole entire movie is practically that. It does nothing new with the Groundhog Day genre. I honestly think that this should have just been a one-and-done concept. Because it seems like every single film that we get, where it's someone reliving the day over and over and over again, it sort of just feels like the same thing. Edge of Tomorrow is a film that, you know, it had its issues, it had, you know, some bad things here and there, but what I really liked about it is how it recreated the days over and over and over, did them differently, did them new, and did them creatively. And Before I Fall doesn't do anything with that. I think that this film is basically, and just, it's not just that part, it's practically the entire movie just feels so unoriginal, unnew, nothing really extraordinary happens that makes it memorable. And they also have narration in the movie for absolutely no reason. It comes in at the beginning, comes in at the end, is there a little bit in the middle, and I can understand why it's at the beginning and end, though it was a bit, you know, ham-fisted and a bit forced with the message at the end of the movie. But in the middle, it just sort of feels a bit weird, like it's there unnecessarily. However, Before I Fall does have some good things to it. The performances, actually, were very good from the entire cast, which surprised me because most teen movies like this have really bad acting from the teenagers. But the teenager in, the, in this, they had really great chemistry with each other. They worked with each other very, very well. And also, this movie has a couple of good ideas. It has a few really cool shots, like a sh certain shot of a, of a day blending together between a character. And it has a couple more things like that. But besides that, this film just really didn't do anything for me. Not a bad film, not a good film either. It's just an okay film, which is why I would give it a 5 out of 10. Alright, that concludes my review for Before I Fall. What are your thoughts on this film? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.